Damn. Damn. Choreography, get shit on. Get exposed. Get shit on Kubo style. Kubo fashion. Bleach. One on one. Okay, people. What's going down? Bleach up to 649. Okay, Koraku, you know, the bot, this, his banka took a lot of him. So, you know, he's going to lay down, get a nice few of some keys of his Zanpakuto. And let me tell you something. When the last time we saw Shinigami talk to his Zanpakuto? Okay? And we see his Zanpakuto manifestation come out, and you see both of them communicating. Shinigami and Zanpakuto. When last we, when last time we seen that? Canon wise, that ain't talking about filler. Okay, when the last time we seen that? Okay, besides Ichigo. When the last time we seen another Shinigami besides Ichigo talk to the Zanpato? Okay, been a long ass time. Been a long ass time. Okay, and we finally get to see, you know, uh, we saw Karaka's Bankai before in the filler arc, you know, the Zanpato Rebellion. There was two of them, but. You know, that was filtered. But, you know, in this, we, we see Ohana. We see his Zanpakuto, okay, talking to Koryaku, okay. And, you know, in the filler arc, there was two. It was her and a little girl, okay. And, but, I guess, you know, since filler, whatever, okay. But Kubo did do the designs of those characters, okay, in the filler arc. The Zanpakuto manifestations of the Shinigamis. But this one, you just see Ohana. Okay, that's a good look. Okay, I prefer. Okay, that's the main look of Krakus Bankai. The little girl, X'd out, not needed. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Look at the skull a little, you get the whole kimono. And, you know, just the conversation between Kriyaku and Ohana, how, you know, she gonna stay with her master, you know, stay with to the, to the very end. And, you know, you know, she was talking about his, his kimono, you like, you ruin it. Okay. I think did she say the the um, a woman made that or I don't know if she made it. I think she think I think she said that she the commotion she made him is ruined. I think she said that. Uh, I, I may be mistaken. Don't quote me on that. You know what I'm saying? But get shit on, Corey. Get fucked. Ah, he's fucked. He's 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 exposed. He's done because he even stayed. His bankai took a lot of him. He's gonna take a nap. He's gonna lay down and just rest because that his bankai took a lot of him. And he's already injured, he's always weakened, and you know, he did the final level, okay, his final move, the threading cut throat shit, that was fucking crazy, okay, and, you know, the whole conversation with Koyaku and Ohana, and not just that, her, I think her name was, like, the name before it was Content something, okay, okay, she is, is Zanpakuto, she is Zanpakuto's name, but, you know, he called her Ohana, I guess, you know, her real name, and he was. She was like, "Oh, Ohana." Like, oh, like she was kind of like you know, call me Ohana in a long ass time. And you know, it was it's it's great to see Kubo bring this shit back. I've been asking for this to see the Shinigamis talk to the Zanpakutos and their manifestation come out. We see the communicating, okay? Because Biaka and you know, Soul Society Arc, you know, Bleach One One, they talk about Zanpakuto and then talking to them and you know, becoming one and your bankais, get the bankais because of talking to the Zanpakuto, becoming one, you know, achieving that, okay? And we finally get to see it in how many chapters? Took how many years? Took how long for Kubo to fucking have another Shinigami besides Ichigo talk to the fucking Zanpakuto and see the manifestation come out? Would it be awesome if Zoraki? Since Rocky talked to his Zanpakuto, but we never seen his Zanpakuto manifestation. How awesome and sick would that fucking be if we saw Zoraki, you know, when he's found Unahana, you know, and he heard it in the abyss, the darkness, okay? So who's that talking? His Zanpakuto talking to him, and we see his manifestation come out the darkness. That would be fucking hype! But Kubo, you know what I'm saying? He don't, you know, you know, miss opportunities. It's Kubo, it's Bleach, it's Kubo, okay? Fuck up been awesome. Zoraki's, my, Zoraki's manifestation come out, man. What? Talk what? Come on. Come on, son. Come on, I'm tired. We see enough of fucking Ichigo's Zanpakuto. Enough. Juha, okay? Fucking Zanpakuto. We just fucking like him. So we, we see him already. Oh, through the fucking arc. And you know what? Kubo gonna do this before you know, when... Krakus about to die. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that fucking shit? His fucking chest got destroyed. 
fucking annihilated. Just fucking bopped. Fucking bopped. Okay? You know, and Lily's like, fuck that. Well, I'm. God showed him, like, I told you, I, a mirror shitting out his bonka would not destroy me. He's fucking, like, regenerating. He's, like, look like some fucking Zelda, okay, peacekeeper, bro. Look like some, some fucking water temple fucking manifestation looking ass, dog. Get, the, get out of here, son. Okay? But Lily, Lily's not done, so who is going to save Kodaku? I mean, it makes sense, right? Because if the Zero Squad Division could have beat these guys, okay, what would make you think a Gothic 13 will fucking, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, well, at least we saw Korak's Bankai. I don't know what I'm saying. And we saw his manifestation, canon wise, okay? So, yeah, I will. Kuba should have been done this. See different Shinigamis, Tarzan Zombok Toes, and see the manifestation, okay? Oh my god, it would have been so fucking hot. <laughs> he was Rocky. Okay, uh, I guess Rukia. I guess. Okay, Renji, of course. Okay, you know, just a few of his Sagi. Well, what was Banka? We would never, you know. Okay, we would Shinji. Okay, just, you know. But, hey, too many characters already, right? And Bleach. And Kuo don't know what the fuck to do with it. But anyways, Bleach at the 649, Karaku, is he, is he dead? Is, is he gone? Exposed? He's done. I mean, he's he's tired. He's worn out. So he's not getting back up. Okay. Fucking Lily just blew up, blasted his chest. But then again, it's Bleach and it's Kubo. He already got her fucking half her body chopped off. But she still survived like, because she had the will to live. This is why I question every fucking thing in Bleach. He already got a whole body cut in half, but that bitch still survived. Okay, so Koryaku has a chance of surviving. I don't know. Last arc, I don't know. Could be dead. It's Bleach and it's Kubo. But I see you guys later. I see you guys later. I'm out. Talk to me. Get back to me.